You've seen it on the last video using the A6500, but what I was most concerned about, and there was zero evidence of it online, was how it would fare with my Fujifilm X-T3. In this case, I'm holding the T2 as my T3 is in the shop for repairs for a few more days, I'm hoping. So yeah, this is basically it. Ulanzi didn't fancy answering my questions when I asked about the compatibility with Fujifilm. It's kind of listed there on the Amazon listing, but there's only one review and, you know, you got to get your hands on these things to try them out. So that's what the idea of this video is, is just in case you're looking at buying one and you still don't want to put down that £20 or whatever. Hopefully this will help you out somehow. What you get is just simple a baggie there and the unit itself. Of course, I've used it, so I've took the protective screen off. Oh, could do with cleaning the dust off it a bit. That's why the bag is pretty handy. Of course, it is plastic except for the mirror. It's very small, which for some of you might be an issue as of course the reflected image is pretty small. You just simply slot it on top of your camera. You can lock it into place flip up your rear screen and you're good to go. Obviously it's not as flexible like an external monitor but it is a lot lighter and it's simply a mirror at an angle as you can see in a plastic frame so no power needed. If you still need your cold shoe mount you've got basically one prop on there and two on the side which I found work fine a little bit stiffer but if I want to put my mic on there or a light or whatever I can do. Once it's locked in to the mount it's there for good and adds almost nothing to the overall weight which doesn't matter if you're on a tripod but it's clearly very handy if you're intending to use something like the T2, the T3, whatever as let's just say a vlog camera which frankly a little bit heavy anyway basically it lets me see what i need to see as far as if i'm being tracked properly if my audio levels are correct and of course the framing it's just a lot quicker than faffing about with almost any other solution of course an external monitor is an excellent solution especially when i'm shooting from different angles not just nonsense like this but to all intents and purposes, it's doing the job. I don't run around shooting myself all the time other than pieces like this and occasionally stuff outdoors, occasionally. So as long as I look after it, carry it in the baggie or whatever, should be absolutely fine. And plus, it's not exactly expensive. It's tidy, lightweight, and it could save you some money on upgrading to that new flip screen model. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. I'll let us know what you think once you get your hands on it. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video very soon.